Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing Robots Heroes Revenge of the Fallen Ravage. And yes, I have Ravage. For my collection, I don't have the transforming one complete, but this is the closest one I can get to complete, and it looks pretty good. Articulation, not much. Legs move. So this is going to be one of those quick videos. Head moves. Guns don't move. Tail doesn't move. But otherwise, a good-looking figure. And now we're going to get down to comparisons. Here is our Revenge of the Fallen Robot Heroes figure next to the Soundwave. Why not? Because they're the same movie line, which I like. And is a Robot Heroes Ravage worth adding to your collection? Yes. If you can get them for a good price, I got this guy for, I think, by the pound I can't remember where I got them from. I think it might have been the exchange. I got them for like three bucks or could be the Goodwill outlet. I got them by the pound. For all this time of waiting to review him, I kind of forgot. <laughs> oh, my memory gets that way sometimes. But this guy is so cool. Oh, wait. I think I got him from Steel City Con for three bucks. Never mind. I remembered. But yeah. I love these Michael Bay movie transforming toys, and they're pretty fun to mess around with. And I highly recommend this guy if you want a simple Transformers toy that doesn't transform, this is the one to get. And now we're going to show off what we're going to do Tuesday of this week. Robot Hero, not Robot Heroes, but these Transformers. Buck 25 Toys from Dollar Tree of Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. And that'll be our last review for this week. If you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe. And I enjoyed doing this toy review for my fans. Because I love having so much fun messing around with these toys when I review them. They are worth the money I spend. And that's why I highly recommend them to anyone looking to collect these toys. Because they're fun, they're easy, and I enjoy it. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.